conversation with Nadia Haider on quantum radar. Now, Nadia, we know what traditional radar is, but can you explain in layman's terms what is quantum radar? So, what we know is the world of small things, this world of quantum is very weird. They have uh, features which are uncommon in classical world. So, where there we see um, quantum features like quantum entanglement between the particles or superpositions, which, is, which we do not entirely understand why it happens, but we know it happens. So, we can do experimental verification and we see the quantum entanglement between the particles is possible. So scientists all over the world are using these features to create, for example, very uh, fast quantum, quantum computers, which will be uh, uh, exponentially faster than a classical computer. And then people are also using quantum uh, communication to have very secure quantum uh, uh, encryption. And now in this program we are uh, using quantum uh, radar, quantum principle, to create very uh, sensitive radar systems. Yeah. So here, instead of using uh, many, many photons, microwave photons, to illuminate and target, we are, we are um, exploring what will happen if we are using only few microwave photons. And uh, these microwave photons, if, what will happen if these microwave photons are entangled to each other? Can we get a different type of information? Can we have much better sensitivity than a classical radar, for example? So these are the things we are exploring within this project. Okay. Are you looking for, with quantum radar, what specific applications, what did you offer more than traditional radar? So, uh, also for the classical radar, the first application is defense and then it went to other domains, a more uh, consumer market. So also for uh, quantum radar, we think the first application will be defense. And the advantages we, we, we think that we can have here is transmitting very small signals. Instead of having a very large transmitter power, we can transmit in few photons. So this will uh, help to have uh, reduce the power handling uh, of our system but also we will be less detectable for uh, other uh, parties. To this picture, you will see that, for example, a microwave photon, which we can locally uh, hold in our circuits, will be uh, reflected in the free space. And uh, if it hits the target, it will be reflecting and collected by your receive antenna. And when we, you see that there's an entanglement between your transmitted uh, circuit and your receiver circuit, you can say that my own microwave photon returned back and I have an entanglement as a signature of my return path. We are, because we are using uh, entanglement as a detection uh, properties, we can detect uh, far below the noise level. So we can detect a much uh, weaker signal than what is possible with the classical radar. So, in, in my understanding, you can have one radar system which probably will cover a wider range and has a higher resolution. Can one system, for instance, somewhere in the middle of Europe, yeah. cover Europe? No, we, uh, not exactly the range, for the, uh, for the uh, first time uh, we think that is more the uh, very weak uh, targeted, the target which are very difficult to detect with a uh, classical radar, we can detect with a quantum radar. Okay. And the very wide frequency range, so quantum radar uh, has a possibility to operate in a very, very, very wide frequency range compared to a classical radar. So these are the features we are exploring within this program. Now uh, this is all fundamental research. When do you expect that uh, research in this area will actually start showing some results? Uh, this is very much a fundamental research right now. There are many research groups uh, in the world that are uh, working on quantum. For example, we are working with the Delft University of Technology to, uh, to have the first prototype of uh, quantum computers. In this domain, we are uh, working uh, uh, quantum uh, sensors and we think uh, that the first prototype of quantum sensors, not quantum radar, but quantum sensors, will be available somewhere in, uh, within the next five years. Next and five years. quantum radar, I think it will go uh, uh, 20 to 30 years. Okay.